Hello. Oh, something went bing, bing. Mm. I don't, I don't know what that is. Oh, people on Facebook. Let me, let me check what that is. Kiana, entertain the people. Hey guys, um, I'm here to entertain you right now, and I'm drinking coffee. Henning's also drinking coffee. Someone's sending me a picture of his uh, tube master, uh, tu- uh, Hugson Kettner Deluxe 40. Oh, I know who that is. Really? Yeah. Who is that? He texted me. He texted you? Yeah. And he bought himself an, uh, yeah, Houston Yeah, he told Kettner. me he sold some of his amps and stuff to get a Hughes & Kettner Deluxe 40. Because of you? N- not because of me. He actually commented under the um, video about the, you know, the giveaway, the book giveaway. Uh-huh. And he said that he was kind of offended that I didn't choose his comment. Uh-huh. And he actually did write in the comment that he was about to buy a Hughes & Kettner. He said he can borrow my book if he wants to. <laughs> That, that's that's nice. That's very, really nice very, very, very nice of you. I, I'm so generous. You are. Um, oh, talking about giveaways. Uh, the uh, I just got an email from Peter Dietzel. We're about four months. I cannot say months. Four months. Thank you. Uh, past the deadline of where I should have given away the Dietzel Zara, which, uh, <laughs> well, there was other stuff happening in Peter Dietzel. Was, so I want Peter's dog Einstein. Because that's why the amp Einstein's called Einstein. I want uh, Peter's dog Einstein to actually pick the winner, but uh, Einstein wasn't available. That would have been so. Cute. But Einstein's back now. I just got an email from him. He said, "Send me the list of people that you picked as possible winners," which is a long ass list because all of you commented like crazy. Um, there was also we're gonna use this video for a lot of stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. There was also uh, n- no video thanking you for uh, another milestone, which is twenty five thousand subscribers. Thank you, Thank you nutsos. Thanks to Kiana for somehow probably making that happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, what's the next milestone? 25 million? Well, maybe you should not think quite as big <laughs> <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> no? I don't know. Maybe maybe a lower milestone. You know, then you have more milestones. Ah! And then you have more celebrations. You know? Oh, that would be cool. More sitting here with you drinking coffee, making a video about nothing. Basically. No, it's not a video about nothing. It's a video about everything. Glass <laughs> half flimty. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we thought we got 8,000 clicks on a video about a book where we just sit here, eat donuts, drink coffee, and talk about a book by Huggers and Kettner. It was probably not the book. It was the word giveaway that got us 8,000 clicks. Yes. It might have been the title, Kiana's Book Report, because we all love Kiana. Mm. <laughs> Do you see how I said we and not you? Oh, see, I thought see, you were referring to your multiple personalities. No, no, no I included myself in <laughs> oh, that. Oh, that's uh, so sweet. Yeah. Thank um, you. And no, Kiana is not my daughter. And not his girlfriend. No. Also not his sister. Because I'm that young. I, she could be my <laughs> sister. Now, Kiana is my guitar student. That's um, what's happening. That has been cleared, too. Okay, <laughs> good. Big we've, mystery. Good, we've talked about the big mystery. Um, so we want, we thought, hey, um, what if we have no giveaway, really nothing going on, no video, no reason to actually make a video, and we just sit here and drink coffee with you? Because we like you guys. Yep. And we want to see how many, how many of you are nuts enough to actually watch us do it. <laughs> So, I want to thank Steel Royale for sending me... Bernd, you're fucking nuts. For sending me the Steel Panther t-shirt. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to have to explain a couple of things to you people. First of all, yes, this is all me. Secondly, um, Steel Royale, written... S-T-I-J-L, Steel, Steel, uh, is a, an ad agency in Wiesbaden, Germany, where my good friend Ben Ringsdorf and Hook Haas, that's just, that's two people, where my good friends, Ben Rings, <laughs> where my good friends, Ben, can you say that? Where my good, where my good friends, Ben Ringsdorf and, and Hook Haas, and Hook Haas, <sighs> Uh, run a crazy ad agency, which is actually located on a pony farm. On a pony hof. It, it, that's actually where it is. Ponies are cute. Yes, ponies are cute. <laughs> so, um, and Bernd is a big fan 
I technically should do it for him, right? Yeah, please. Because he sent me the t-shirt. That's the least you can do. I went to a ad agency Christmas party. Everything, everyone dulled up in like me, 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 and high heels and the nice dresses and stuff. And I don't know what I was supposed to do there. So I show up and everyone goes like, you're the metal guy, you're the metal guy. I'm like, what? <laughs> and so apparently Bernd runs around and shows his clients and co-workers and everyone these videos for some reason that I don't understand. <laughs> and introduces me as the metal producer heading Pauli. I'm like, oh my God. And it was rather embarrassing. But Bernd... As the metal fan, for you... Oh, I'm really not in shape, wait. Okay, good. Awesome. There you go, Bernd, for you. <laughs> um, so Bernd is a big Steel Panther fan. So Steel Royale, written wrongly. Steel Panther, Steel Panther. Ah, it's funny, I think. It's hilarious. It's, it's <laughs> very punny. So in German, I have, to, I have to go through all these things. In German, you say, das Leben ist kein Ponyhof. For life isn't a Ponyhof. <laughs> life isn't a pony farm. Uh, trying to say life ain't easy. Or life's a bitch. When someone says, oh, you know, I lost my foot in a tragic boating accident. And then someone would say, hey, life ain't easy. Yeah, that's name is kein Ponyhof. I don't know. So um, since they are actually living on a pony farm and working on a pony farm, they have this beautiful pony farm mug. And it actually says, life is a pony farm. Das Leben ist ein Ponyhof. So that's pretty funny. And they sent me this mug because it's funny. We also have the much more ridiculous Der Bernd Ringsdorf Fernuniversität mug, which is, I have no idea why he calls himself Der Bernd Ringsdorf. There is like, he is Der Bernd Ringsdorf, not any Bernd Ringsdorf. He is the Bernd Ringsdorf Fernuniversität, which is, Fernuniversität, how do you, how do you translate that? Mail order university. It's like a you 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 go you go to university you go to college but it's like on the internet, online university Fernuniversität. Yeah. So der Bernd Ringsdorf zur Fernuniversität with, with a beautiful thing in the middle that says Prima in Hessisch, which is a German dialect and it means a okay. It's really not the all this stuff is in no way translatable. Absolutely not. But it's funny as hell in German. It's funny as hell in German. Yes, we Germans try to be funny. At least we try. We try. Okay, so thank you, Bernd. Thank you, Hook. You guys are nuts. Steel Panther, that is so fucking ridiculous. Should have been pink. Yeah, but then it wouldn't almost match your green sock. Oh, get that out of my face. What? This yeah, one's blue. I just... Get that out of my face. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I can make you say that. <laughs> so, um, what else do we have? We've talked about the Diesel Terror. Yeah. Talked about Thank You Band. Um... Kiana's wearing that shirt. It's really awesome. Actually, funny story, they do have apparently size S in Egypt, but size S is, for some reason, quite large and not at all small. And what? that's what she said. Anyway, it would be too big for me. That's what she said. And <laughs> shut up. And um, so this is the infant size T-shirt, which is still too big for me. That's what she said. And um, yeah, but it kind of fits. And I actually like the T-shirt. And it is also, you know, on the back. 
Henning's t-shirt. They like it. Uh, yeah. Hey, Kiana, what strings do you play? Mmm. Dodario. NYXL. Oh. Are they good? Yeah, mm, actually. Cool. Mm. Yeah. Why are you bringing this up now? I don't know. Completely random? Just completely random. Just sometimes I like to talk about strings. Mm hmm. Well, um. We talked about the two. If you haven't ordered one but you like one, please write your emails to shirts at henningpowdy.com. Leslie will take your order. We have gray glab mm -hmm. What colors do we have? You don't know. You have black. Black. Blue. Oh. And gray. And gray. You actually need like a purple one too. <laughs> we have a couple left. Right, let's see. 20 bucks, 20 euro plus shipping, which uh, internationally is a 350, 350, nationally one something, 75. So we got that. Want to talk about a pedal? Yeah, I mean, why not? Let's see what kind of a nerd you are. Oh, great. On the table here. Yeah. Let me turn this up. Right now I'm doing Toman videos. I'm doing the Toman website demos. So if you go to Toman, you click on any pedal. And on, on the uh, product website, there's actually a little video where you see the top down. I do these. So you know that your favorite YouTuber or maybe the second favorite YouTuber if you really like Ryan Bruce, who's awesome. Or maybe a third favorite YouTuber if you also like Rob Chapman. Or I'm Brad Kingman. And the Tone King. Basically, a YouTuber you sometimes like to watch. If I'm some guy you also watch after all the other guys haven't uploaded their videos. <laughs> then you might like to know that you can trust those videos, to, at least in sound quality. Including the sounds of him eating chocolate. That's not on Toman, that's just here. That's true. Mm. You're disgusting. Sorry. Well, I can't touch the pedal, it's not mine. <laughs> so I got this here from Toman right now for the demo, and it's freaking awesome. And um, it's from JHS. Yes. Uh, it's called the AT. What do you think the AT stands for? Mm. I'd just like to know what kind of sci-fi nerd you are. I just gave it away a little bit. Okay, something sci-fi. AT. Ooh. Oh, no. It should, it should have clicked immediately. Star Wars? Ah! <laughs> What's an AT-AT? -AT? It's, um, for the droids. Is um, like a battle thing. No, no, it's those walking thingies. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry, it took me a while. And I think the ATSTs are the two-legged ones. Yes, exactly. Why do you know that? Because I've watched Star Wars. I don't I think they ever refer to them as AT-ATs. <gasps> the Star Wars Lego on the packet. Because it... I had the toys as a, as a, as a, yeah, as a young, the, young child. Yeah, I have the Lego. You have the, okay, good. Yeah. What does NYXL stand for? NY stands for New York. <laughs> and like XL, XL for, for for That's what she said. Extra large. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I don't know. Oh so my gosh. Yeah, and no, actually it stands for Andy Timmons. And I thought this was gonna be cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andy. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Kiana. Apparently, things <laughs> sorry. you're but not that, very that, cool. That came across not as I wanted it to. I thought it was gonna be nerdy, and not you know not like pedal nerdy, but Star Wars nerdy because I like Star Wars. You wanna wear a hat? Yeah. It's just some know. random hat that I've got lying around. Okay. Why does everyone look good in hats and I look like a complete <laughs> idiot? I look. So, you wanna see? Come on. Look, yeah, look, look, I've look, seen look, it look on that. the video. You look. That's just so not happening. <laughs> no. That is so absolutely ridiculously not happening. No, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you look 
actually really ridiculous. I mean, more than usually. <laughs> that kind of Rita disc. Totally dorky. I know. Wow. Yeah, I know. yeah that's really not happening. Okay, so you wear it. So um, the AT by JHS is some kind of, I don't know, high gainy pedal, marshly. I think they took the Angry Charlie and uh, tweaked it. Angry Charlie's kind of cool. It's got like a little Charlie Brown thing. And there's a Charlie, there's an Angry Charlie, and it's like a high gainy kind of blown out Marshall something. But um, this is not a full on demo of this thing. But since we're here, we might as well noodle around with it. I am playing an Ibanez Gem White, going into the JHS, the AT pedal, going into a Engel Rockmaster on clean with a Walrus Audio Bellwether in the effects loop. And I'm just going to noodle over the song that I personally call Zitoman Song.
What do you think about uh, the uh, JHS VAT? I mean, I know Andy, Andy Timmons, I don't know how to play like Andy Timmons, I have no idea. But it, it, it sounds pretty nice, actually. <laughs> pretty, pretty nice. That's that's how that's how I would describe no, it. No, it it, 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 it sounds, sounds fucking sounds awesome. Good. I mean, it's just it doesn't matter what kind of fucked up stuff you do. It just sound. Did they just say the f word? How dare you, Henry? Oh my god! Yeah, don't say that in front of. Did it just take the Lord's name in vain? Oh my god! Is it like, taking the Lord's name in vain? Yeah, even worse. It's, it isn't even my god. Oh, someone's god. Anyway. Okay. Um. Pretty damn awesome pedal. It really is. <laughs> Congo's like, <laughs> are they playing NYXL? Is it possible that this is what they're playing? Congo, are we playing him? She's, she's gone. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's <laughs> like, yeah, that was NYXL very clearly. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's a ridiculously good pedal. It's just fun. I don't even know how well it does for rhythm stuff, and I don't give a flying rat's ass. Whatever a flying rat's ass is. We've talked about this. Let's talk about it again. Okay. It could be <laughs> a flying rat. Yeah. Fully alive. <laughs> going, you know, it could be a, a, a pigeon, because they're sometimes oh, called flying course. rats. Yes. Of course. But it could actually be a rat with wings flying. And it's it's ass. Okay, so just. And I couldn't give less of. The, I mean, I couldn't give it because technically it's flying away. So I couldn't give a flying rat's ass. It could also be a rat. <laughs> yeah. Chopped in half, <laughs> so that you only have the ass. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then someone throws it. Therefore, it is a flying rat's ass. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess in some weird way. And I also. Couldn't give it. So which one do you think it is? A pigeon butt? Flying rat's ass? That, that is... That more, is actually very plausible. That is more real... Plausible. It's more realistic than someone throwing around rat's asses. <laughs> that would be a very weird person. <laughs> then again, we know weird people. That's true. Um, uh, I was referring okay. to Bernd, but okay, Sorry. fine then. Sorry. So you can't say that this wasn't a pedal demo, because I think we've demoed a pedal. Yeah, definitely. Clearly. Mm -hmm. The AT-ST Walker from Star we Wars. We talked about what the, where the name comes from. Yes. We talked about my Star it's, Wars it's Lego. It's actually Andy Timmons. Yeah, I did get that now. But Who got you the Star Wars Lego? Who gets a girl Star Wars Lego? Well, I mean, technically, I only had Harry Potter Lego, so I would play with my brother's Star Wars Lego with him, and I would... Actually, I built the Death Star because he didn't want to anymore after doing, like, a quarter. But isn't Harry Potter promoting, like, Satanism and witches and magic, and isn't that, like... No. Completely unchristian? But, but I like Harry Potter. <laughs> no, no, but, but really, there were full-on Christian groups, like... <laughs> Up in arms about Harry Potter because it it uh, 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 it, it promotes, promotes it promotes uh, uh, witches and magic and Satanism. But no, well, not Satanism anyway. But, <laughs> but it. it, I, it, it I, I, I don't know. I yeah? like Harry Potter, so whatever. Whatever, well, Kiana. What Kiana tries to say with whatever is people are fucked up in the head. Yeah. She's just polite about it. So anyway, yeah, I built the Death Star and that was so much fun so I built some of the other stuff too and I don't know I just like Star Wars Lego I just like Lego can you believe that <laughs> I saw the new Star Wars movie which by the way was freaking awesome yes only Definitely. once so far in the theater I saw it three times in the theater <gasps> three times yeah I went three times but not again on on blu-ray or something and not yet no okay it's been out on iTunes and every night, I, I, I'm like, I could buy it. I was at the store the other day. I could buy the DVD. And Leslie's always like, no, we've already seen it. We don't need to see that again. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> what? So but that means I have to actually, you've like... You've only seen it once. Yeah, it, which is very wrong, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I should buy it on iTunes and watch it tonight. Yes, definitely. What if Leslie says I, I'm, I, I shouldn't? By the way, uh, did you buy Deadpool? 
Yeah. You have it on Blu-ray? Uh, no, I have it on iTunes. Oh, well, darn. Would have taken it home. Because my dad hasn't seen it yet. I've seen it, of course, in the movies, but... You have an Apple TV, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm not proposing anything. No, I'm not. You can buy it. Yeah, but if you had it on Blu-ray, I would just, you know, take it home. <laughs> Talking about Blu-ray, you still have my Battlestar Galactica, like all of it. Yeah. Talking about a subject that you because, try to avoid. <laughs> because, because the Blu-ray player at my place doesn't work. So I'd have to wait. Watch wait, it. and I, it doesn't work on the it doesn't work on the Blu-ray player of my parents. I don't know why. It just says it can't read the the Blu-ray. Oh damn it! I was just gonna say I gave you an Xbox, but I gave you the Xbox the the three 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 sixty. I actually gave her two Xbox three sixty. Yeah. Just to let just to let you guys know. Because I need to. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. but but that doesn't have Blu-ray. You're right. Exactly. So, so how I, I, am I, I supposed I, to watch it? So I would have to give you my Xbox One. You can do that. Yeah, I'm, hell no. Cool <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like more of a hell no than a maybe. Well, then you just gotta wait until I figure out a way to watch Battlestar Galactica, somehow, somewhere. <sighs> um, it's not that easy. <laughs> it is. You just put it in a Blu-ray player. Yeah, but it's not working on the Blu-ray player. Why? I don't know. I don't speak Blu-ray. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand that stuff. Why are these people still watching this? <laughs> that's, I, I'm just realizing that we're talking that's... like we always talk. Oh, please, please help me out on this. Okay. Uh, I think well, it was Ron. Ron, hi. Um, and uh, some someone else, and they were uh, uh, debating whether, like, you know, the way I talk with you. First of all, I shouldn't make fun of you, which is just ridiculous. <laughs> and um, and 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 they were saying that I do this just to get. You know, clicks or to make this or whatever. The but, way you talk to me. Yeah. But yeah. then I said, and also like, since you're not of age, I shouldn't make, you know, jokes and stuff. I like, you know, the, the dirty ones. But then I said, this is kind of, first of all, the way you are. And that we are like this when we are... In, yeah. It doesn't, I mean, it makes no difference if the camera's on or not. That's what it's I said. Just, I said, this is just how we that's are. That's just the way we interact. Basically. Yeah. This is, yeah. And I, I would never force Kiana to, you know, be filthy or whatever. It's just... It's just your bad influence. It's my bad influence. But um, thank you. That really helped. That's not the point I was trying to make. <laughs> no, but, um, I know. But I'm um, thinking... Uh, but the thing is, I, I, I don't think I would cross that line if I had a feeling that you were actually uneasy. Yeah, plus just because the camera's on, you shouldn't, you know, like, change the way you interact with me because that wouldn't be authentic anymore. Yeah. You know? But he would tell me if you'd have had a problem with anything, right? I go home every night and cry into my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Not helping the point no. I'm trying to make here. Okay, okay, let me turn off the sarcasm. <laughs> okay. All right, no, seriously. Um, if I was offended by anything sexist or mean or making fun of that Henning says to me, I would tell him. But I'm cool with that. The There's definitely some comments on some of these videos that might possibly cross a line here or there. Um, and I would leave it up to Kiana to just write the word line under these comments to put some of you perfs in the right place. I think the word line should be enough. Line should be enough. So if I comment line under any of your comments, then you know you've crossed the line. That's not a watchy. We, we, we're not pushing the button enough. Darn. You should quickly say something you're not pushing my button enough that's what she said yay <laughs> <laughs> i thought people would find it ridiculous that we have this button now and people are loving it well we did promise to get a button like that so we need a pedal jhs make it that's what she said by a uh, pedal yeah i mean how hard would that be that's what she said I, I really don't want to give you a high five for that. <laughs> really not, no. <laughs> Can't leave me hanging. All right, yeah, just give me a second. You'll get your high five sooner or later. Just eat some chocolate first. Because I love chocolate. Mm. 
That's what she said. Why? You can continue talking. Hi, Congo. No, sorry. I have to stroke Congo right now. <sighs> Fine. Okay, um, you can have your high five now. Thank you. <laughs> um, no, uh, it should be relatively easy to make a pedal that has a little sampler in it with like 5k of RAM and then just trigger a sim You're single sample. You're not getting sample. any chocolate. Yeah, no, Congo. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, you look so cute. <laughs> look at her. Okay, we're gonna let you go. I have no idea why you're still here. If you are still here, you're just, you know... Well, some of them will be here. It's, yeah. If you're still here, comment here. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Do that. Then we know how many people actually finish these nonsensical videos. Completely pointless. But we're having fun. Uh -huh. And we talked about the pedal, and uh, the Angle Rockmaster, fucking awesome. Uh, review coming, there's a lot of reviews coming soon. We are, we're gonna be, be on vacation. So Kiana will have some time, we're gonna do another video in the bathroom mm -hmm. for Ortega. Stuff's coming tomorrow, we're doing an unboxing. I have a whole bunch of pedals still to demo. I have amps to demo, the, the AC30, the Rockmaster from uh, Angle, the Metal Master from Angle. We have... Um, a lag acoustic that we're gonna have to do. We have um, D'Angelico acoustic that we'll do. D'Angelico electric guitar, the EX175 that we'll do. Uh, I just talked to Harley Benton today. There's gonna be more Harley Benton demos closer to Christmas, so there's gonna be a whole run of Harley Benton again. The schedule is filling up quickly, and uh, Kiana will be here for as much as I can possibly get her. And um, that's pretty much. That's it, right? We, we can let yeah. them go now. I think so too. Yeah. You've sat through this way too long already. Yeah, sorry. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> Thanks guys for, I don't know, just... Uh, for putting up with that. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know. <laughs> but it's great, really, thank yeah. you. Hey Kiana, what strings do you play? The Dario, NYXL. Pretty decent. Pretty, pretty decent. See ya. Bye.